we have to fight our assumptions, our, our preconceptions, our biases. If, ev if every single person you meet, you think you're bothering, you're clearly not thinking correctly because there's no possible way that every single person in the world is bothered by you asking for help. Especially if the way that you're asking for help is asking, how can I help them? We have to instead think, ask these questions. Number one, what have I not considered? So as we sit down in the job search and we're applying to jobs online and we're getting burnt out and we've reached out to three or four people and they didn't respond to us, so we stopped networking. We have to say, what have I not considered? Have I tried building my personal brand? To what extent have I done that? Have I tried starting my own projects? To what extent have I done that? I grilled someone for 15 minutes yesterday about what problem they solve as a web developer, and they could not tell me. After 15 minutes of going back and forth and back and forth, they said, I don't understand the question. And I said, look, a company will not hire you unless your work makes them money. So they have problems that are preventing them from making money. You have a skill set as a web developer that allows them to solve those problems and make more money. What are the problems? What are the problems? What problem do you solve with what you do? If you cannot articulate the problem that you solve, you don't deserve a job. Because it means when you start that job, you're not going to do the right things to make that company money. Let me repeat that. If you don't know the ROI of your job, you don't deserve a job. Because you'll take the job, take the paycheck, and not give them the value needed to improve the business. Even a checkout cashier at Target can understand the value of their job.